Our bow bomb is currently on tap, but we can switch that to spray. Or beam. Super spray? Super beam? I don't even know what these mean, but you better believe that I want to try it. Oh my god. <laughs> this may or may not break my game, but it will be so worth it. I'm gonna see this in slow motion. Oh yeah. That's it. Everybody jump into the pie. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, I'm gonna be trusted with way more power than I probably should be. Like as many of you guys know, when you're playing this game, you're usually a passive observer. You don't have a whole lot of influence over what's happening once the battle begins. You can take control of a unit if you really want to, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Now, however, with the latest update, I've been given God powers, which is just a recipe for disaster. Now, I'll admit, this is far from the first time I've been a god. But that being said, I still have no sweet clue what I'm doing here. So we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Teacher versus teacher. That way they should hopefully juke and parry one another rather than kill. Because I need a minute just to figure things out. And then hopefully, we'll have some abilities. Abilities like push? Oh. Okay. I can push you guys. I'm just a fart in the wind. Well, that's very different. Oh, uh, I want to be a little careful. Otherwise, I'm gonna push one of them through the ground. Are you kidding me? I'm only a minute into the game. I already broke it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's just me and you now. Let's try grab. Grab? Oh, I'm like... That weird glove from Smash Bros. <laughs> Hello there, can I just, oh, oh, that is, that is not where you wanna grab your teacher. Sorry. I've started off this video by blowing my teacher and grabbing his butt. That's just great. Well, this is definitely different. I can feel the power. I don't suppose I could just kind of, oh yeah, bye. It was the only way anybody was gonna win. Let's try a battle that's just a little bit more complicated than a 1v1. Hopefully this way, I'll be able to avoid breaking the game. And any potential lawsuits that may arise in the process. So, we've got blow. Or technically push, right? I should probably be calling it push. Push job sounds a whole lot less incriminating. Everybody can get pushed. We also have grab, so if I wanted, really? Why is it so difficult for me to keep my fingers out of loincloths? Don't get me wrong, I have always strongly encouraged quick battles to the death in this game, but these battles are too quick. I don't have enough time to figure out what's going on, so I'm gonna use one of my longtime god powers of time dilation, so you guys can all just chill out as I figure out, shoot? We have a projectile bow, mode tap. Tap bow, you say. Oh, right then. At least it should be an easy shot. <laughs> tap. Oh, right, time is frozen. Right. Interesting. Okay, do we... Oh, so we can also shoot a spear? Oh, that is not fair at all. Musket? All right, I don't know why I'm picking on this one guy. Let's spread the love around. We got a balloon. All right, a firework. Sounds good to me. Bow bomb? Bow bomb. Have we ever seen that before? There's no bomb archer in this game, is there? That might be a hint to a future unit. That'd be really cool. I, I might want to try that one individually just to see what it does. We've got ice. We've got a ballista bolt. Okay, yeah, that that's not really. Oh, and Zeus, of course. Why wouldn't we? There's a little lightning bolt there. And blunderbuss can just, uh, that's going to cut a grape shot out. We get a little bit of everybody there. Shuriken. Sure, why not? You can have one of those. We get the regular old bomb coming down. We get the... Fire bow and the Cupid bow. My God, there's so many. Okay, that's it. There's only like 15 different types of projectiles. And then let me guess, once I start this up, 
battle is not gonna last particularly long. <laughs> Wait, that was technically shorter than the last, but we learned a lot. I want to learn a little bit more about that bomb arrow. Look, we've seen all of the others before, but I don't really know what it does. So we're going to bring in Snuffy. He's been the resident explosive expert of tabs for a very long time. <laughs> Mostly because they don't seem to bother him all that much. If I put half a dozen bomb arrows here behind his ear, I would imagine they'll tickle. They're also made of metal, which is really weird. They look a lot like the harpoons, but I don't think the harpoons have bombs on them. I might need to take a look. I'm pretty sure that's the case. <laughs> but Snuffy should just take this like a champ. Doesn't care in the slightest. <laughs> it's like I'm some kind of omnipotent hunter that came back in time to blow up the locals. <laughs> Sorry about that, Snuffy. So these bomb arrow explosions aren't particularly big, but I think we can make up for that with quantity. <laughs> and what better to blow up than a giant pile of hobbits. Assuming they are all hobbits. Oh no, that's a hobbit. Didn't get the memo that you're not supposed to wear all of your wardrobe to your funeral. <laughs> I love how they're all quivering knowing that I'm about to detonate the entire Shire. Our bow bomb is currently on tap, but we can switch that to spray. <laughs> or beam. Super spray? Super beam? I don't even know what these mean, but you better believe that I want to try it. Oh my god. <laughs> this may or may not break my game, but it will be so worth it. I've got to see this in slow motion. Oh yeah. That's it. Everybody jump into the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything left? Oh, wow, that was perfect. They've all got multiple arrows in them and it just it's the like art in motion, or at least it was in motion. That may have been amazing, but I think we can do better. I know it's not perfect, but no art is. It's subjective. What matters is the effect that it has on people. Preferably an explosive effect. <laughs> I've also made it so that they should survive. <laughs> Which means it should rain charred hobbitsicles. <laughs> Amazing. We've got a couple of survivors and I kind of want to see what happens when I fire the super beam in real time. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Okay. We might need to give that a shot. So if I understand this correctly, all I have to do is press this button and it will just fire copious amounts of explosive arrows. <laughs> it's like I'm an AC-130. <laughs> it's so good. Holy crap. I don't even want to try the other fire modes. Why would you bother? I keep having to remind myself that this update came out a week ago. I can't make an entire video around one thing. Like, trust me, I would love to make one full video of just blowing stuff up and laughing at it. <laughs> we still have even more god powers to try. Right? We have vacuum, which probably isn't going to have much of an effect without time, huh? So what if we... Oh. Yeah, I was kind of curious what would happen if we used vacuum to pull a bunch of units together who want to blow each other apart. <laughs> the fan bearers and the shouters... What, did they just yell and cool each other to death? Did I kill them? That looks a whole lot more lethal than anything I just did. Let's try that again, except for this time, I won't suck too much. Okay, I gotta suck before you guys blow. <laughs> and again, please get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, you can all suck through the map. Great. <laughs> Not what I'm trying to do. I'm just I'm just trying to get you all together. Okay, you guys come over here and then no, you come over come come over here and then you guys come over here and then everybody no, nope, no. <laughs> they keep wanting to blow each other away and I keep sucking them back in. <laughs> what if I suck you all off the map? A little something like that. Yeah, you can all go for a swim. I like it. You know, it it's not the flashiest, but it's definitely quite impactful. We never did see if I had the chops to suck or blow the big boys. How about we try a little something like this? Nope. They 
don't seem to care all that much. What if I blow? Nope. Zero impact. <laughs> all right, then why don't we break out inverted gravity? Oh, you guys like that one, don't you? <laughs> You got a whole lot of gravity on you considering how big you are. Some of them float away a whole lot faster than others. What's your deal? You're just kind of swimming around here and the other ones are in space. <gasps> oh. Okay, so if I let go, I still don't really know if there's fall damage in this game. I guess if they leave the stratosphere, that counts as a ring out? I wonder what would happen if we sporadically removed gravity from a battle. And like an actual battle, like faction versus faction, they're duking it out, and then all of a sudden, gravity weakens ever so slightly. <gasps> but not for too long. Or you, you could definitely return back to Earth. The, the surface of Earth, not underneath it, you jackasses. <laughs> Come on, man. Why do half of them fall through the ground? <laughs> You're making my life real difficult. Maybe I can pull them back out. We do lift the bodies for some reason. Why do the snake archers and Zeus not care about gravity? See that? What is going on there? Is it only melee units to the firework? Oh, the firework archers tend to float up a little bit as well. <laughs> some kind of special ability? I don't know, I've never seen something like that before. I can even... <laughs> we can be real gradual with it, just just a little bit. Everybody kind of hop around. Some people like to think that Zeus is the god of thunder. You know, others think Thor is the god of thunder. In all reality, it's not all that special. Okay, For a god, throwing lightning around is about as difficult as farting in a jar. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in just a moment. <laughs> oh, and they bounce too. How did we not nuke everything that's alive? The whole screen was covered in electricity. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. Well, I can certainly do a little something like uh, this. How do you feel about that? Oh, you could just go down on me, Zeus. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You're gonna finally take some of your own medicine. I may be able to throw lightning and get rid of gravity and blow dudes, but this is not one of my godly powers. <gasps> I think this is the side effect of mixing too many different types of Chinese steroids. Dude's like 20 feet tall. His bow staff looks like a broom handle. He's getting just a little bit too godly for my liking. So I, I think I'm just gonna send him to another planet. <gasps> Hopefully this actually works. Looks like it's working. <laughs> this was the alternate ending to up. There we go. Hopefully those balloons don't pop. Oh, crap. He's gotta be dead though, right? Yeah, we turned him into a porcupine. <laughs> Never be too certain. I wonder if I could just do a little something like this. Why doesn't everybody fly? Just spray and pray. I'm sure they'll all go where I want them to go eventually. <laughs> Oh, uh, this must be what it feels like to be it. Just balloons for everybody, all the little boys and girls. <laughs> oh, I missed quite a few. Hey, 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 Zeus. What do you think you're doing? Where, where do you think you're, there we go. That's more like it. Is there anybody else alive? Still a couple. Man, that's not very accurate. I gotta say, I gotta work on my godly aim. Spray and pray is not very <laughs> omnipotent of me. I didn't get a lot of time at the end of last episode to mess around with everything having wings. And I got a lot of recommendations from you guys, many good ones that I'm sure I'll get to eventually. But right now, I wanna to return to the wobbly horse <laughs> because the four winged horse is just too good not to grab apparently. How about I go ahead and just grab you, pull you over here, come on now. Where do you think you're going? No, no, stay, stay away. Struggling, it's really struggling. That's it, all you idiots can just follow him over here. He's too majestic for you to reach. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let you go to kill this last guy. Go, my pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect joust. 
One thing that a lot of you guys wanted to see was musketeers with wings, because they can't hit anything with their feet firmly planted on the ground. So what are they gonna do when they're flopping around in the air? <gasps> I would imagine they're probably still gonna shoot each other pretty easily right off the bat. But really, you guys don't fly? What's the point of having wings then? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Cupid can fly and he's got a ranged attack. You guys have great posture for it. I gotta say you're really rocking the pose, but <laughs> it's still completely pooping on my parade. It's a pretty well-known fact that wings make everything more majestic. So if you take the most majestic creature in tabs, other than the wobbly horse, no offense, Snuffy, what exactly would happen? Oh, he's got the tiny little wings inside of him. <laughs> they are flying, are they? Yeah, are you kidding me? That much fuzzy meat can get off the ground, but the musketeers can't? <gasps> Why? Oh, that's just so frustrating. <laughs> they don't even know what to do. They're just walking up against one another. They're even taking damage. What if I take control of you? Oh yeah, okay. We've got some damage being dealt. Yeah, there we go. We're just gonna get some head butts in and then probably go ahead and die. Yeah, let's just go ahead and die. This is a 2020 mood if I've ever seen one. Well, if melee units are the only ones that can get off the ground, then I guess we're just gonna have to try the biggest, baddest melee units. I don't have all of them here, but we will try halberds and yarls versus knights and chieftains. I know it's a bit of a mismatch. Some of them are wearing full armor, others loincloths that barely cover their weird red genitalia, but hopefully we get something out of this? This is definitely something. They're just kind of like randomly swinging at one another. It's hard to really distinguish any kind of combat. It's like throwing spaghetti against a wall and picking out all the individual strikes. It's starting to get to the point where I feel like I'm the Goku of weirdness when it comes to this game. Like every time you think it couldn't possibly get any weirder, I've reached my peak. I go just a little bit further beyond. We're gonna have Flying Vlad the Impaler versus Flying Executioners and Taekwondoers? Taekwondoes? Taekwondoziers? I don't know. All I know is that there are many sharpened telephone poles and many van doors attached to sticks getting thrown around. Whoa, really? I thought Vlad was gonna get crushed here. They were outnumbered like three to one, but evidently not. <laughs> that is assuming that you guys can get down to, to him. Oh, oh, okay. The executioner might be able to turn this around. No, he's got a broken back. We've really got a two for one special with this battle because I don't know why I didn't think of either of these ideas before. We've got the Raptor Rider. We got riders with wings. We've got raptors with wings. The raptors are already a disaster on land. <laughs> They're about as wobbly as the horse, so that should be interesting. But then we've got the cheerleaders and the mace spinner. What would happen if a tornado has wings? Will the cheerleaders fly? I have no idea. I get the feeling the raptors will probably close the distance because they're real quick. It's not gonna matter though. We do in fact have a flying tornado. I really like the raptors with wings. They're, they're super cool. I should have had them face off against something that wasn't so incredibly overpowered. I'm really confused because the raptors got smaller wings than the horses but Snuffy got tiny wings. They weren't proportional to him at all. So what would happen if we used a bunch of giants? Would some of them get giant wings and others don't? Really? That doesn't seem very fair. Look at these majestic broccoli Jesuses. I know they were pretty angelic already, but oh, the poor stupid ice giants, frost giants or whatever they're called. They just got little tiny wings in their pecs. Of course they got worked. And last, but certainly not least, another recommendation from you guys. What about clams versus snake archers? Would the clams and the snakes have little tiny wings? God, I hope they do. <laughs> Please don't let me down, game. No, no, they just run around. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. Can the snakes even reach them when they fly? No, that's not particularly fair. 
You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And now that this update's been out for like a week, I wanna say that the mods are slowly returning again. Now every time there's an update, they break and then the modders have to go and fix them and add new stuff, but I would imagine using all of these new abilities and modes with some modded units could make for some really funny moments. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave some recommendations in the comments, and I'll be sure to return for more tabs soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.